All right, so we have another problem here. We have um, three equations and three unknowns, and we want to solve with elimination. All right, so I've got one and two and three. And it's very, very exciting. And so first of all, I want to, what can I eliminate? Okay, well, as I'm looking to eliminate, I'm noticing a problem. Here's my problem. If I look at one and two, say I wanted to eliminate the x. That was just my goal. 2z equals 6, and then negative 2x plus 10y plus 4z is equal to negative 12. So if I want to eliminate the x, I can do that by multiplying everything here by 2, right? Um, so if I distribute my 2 all the way across, what I'm going to end up with is um, 2 times x is 2x, and then minus 10y, and then minus 4y equals 12, um, which is going to be a problem because over here, I write minus 2x plus 10y. Um, that was supposed to be a z. It's crazy. Um, z minus 10y plus 4z is equal to negative 12. If I want to go in here and add them straight down, I got 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. Okay, 0 equals 0, that's true. All right. Um, I've got a problem. I've essentially got at least two equations here that they're the exact same thing. They're just multiples of each other. So 1 and 2 are multiples of each other. And in fact, so is 1 and 3. Um, so if I do 1 divided by 2, I'm going to get, by the actual number 2, um, if I do 1 divided by 2, I'm actually going to get what's in the third equation. Um, see, this here is just x divided by 2, 5 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2, and 6 divided by 2. That's giving me this third one right here. So basically, I've got one equation written three different ways. That's not going to help me um, pin down what x, y, and z are. But they're not inconsistent. They are consistent. So that's what I mean by having this true statement. They are consistent, so I don't have no solution. Rather, I'm going to say I have infinitely many, infinitely many solutions. And the way that I can formally write that is to say that my solution set is x, y, and z, such that x minus 5, y minus 2z is equal to 6. So I just pick one of those equations and say, you know, I can't tell you explicitly what those are going to be, but, you know, in general, they're going to follow um, this pattern here. So that you're just going to have to take my word for it. It's kind of what the solution says. So since all three or at least two of the equations are the same equation, just written multiple ways, um, I just say that there's infinitely many solutions and I kind of move on. Yay, lots of fun.